okay welcome to our youtube channel this is sales forecasting tutorial series in machine learning uh, <clears throat> just to remind you of what we covered in uh, in, a pre in our previous tutorials uh, in our previous tutorial uh, we covered the how to 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 to, to dump and the test the model uh, we did it by using linear regression algorithm uh, and this in this part we are going to to start model deployment using flask so Right here, we'll create a project folder in Flask. Then it will display home page link with a static file. Yeah, I hope this will be our coverage of this tutorial. I hope we'll cover about two things. Create a project folder, display home page, linking our Flask app with a static files. So let's go uh let me let, let me let me go here this is my local disk d this is pycharm project folder and here is the project folder for all uh flask app so let me create a new folder and let me name it sales prediction sales prediction yes then after we need some some few subfolder here like static static you know for storing static files we need the templates templates i hope it's temporary so here at my desktop there is a templates let me copy this file copy index.html don't worry about this uh, <coughs> all of source code will be uploaded uh, and i'll give you a link so let me click here let's rename this is templates right so let's copy index.html which is our home page so the next thing is to copy static file which is a cs file so here let me let me copy let me copy let me copy here here there is a static file oops here there is a static file let me copy this subfolder and the paste here yes i'm going to copy uh, pasting yes yeah that's it so the next thing is to uh le let me show you let me let me open our our our, our project folder in in a python so uh, yeah pycharm flask as you can see this is a local disk d folder pycharm then i open flask then i go to sales prediction sales prediction yes then after here i needed to create a python file light click new python file let me name it as app you know this is our flask app so here i need to import import let me, let me put comment here import necessary libraries libraries here okay let, let, let me let me import is libraries yes yes so let me import let me import numpy as np oops 
import imp something like this was wrong import numpy as np so le le from from frasky from from frasky import frasky then we need to import a request request we need to import j json file and we need to import uh, lender lender templates so yeah that's it also we need to import pinko import pinko you know this is for for loading for loading our model we have saved in this key so here let me enter app is equal to frasky app is equal to frasky yeah something like this you know name yeah it should be something like this then we need to load our model as you, you, you remember we dumped the model in a disk so we need to load a model so let's move to our desktop here where we dumped our model data science cells forecasting and this is our model so we need to copy and paste it in our PyCharm Frasky project folder. So I'm going to copy it, copy, then I'm going to paste it in PyCharm Frasky Sellers Prediction. Let me just paste it here. Right? So the next thing uh, is to load our model uh, by using pinko. So model is equal to pinko dot load. Right. Dot load. Then open uh, model dot pkl right then then after read rb you remember i told you rb is read binary so enter uh we need to we need to to specify app dot root this is the root of frasky function app dot root it will be in uh, in root it will be in i mean like a root you know root like a like a root folder or i mean this is is root and a function underneath named as home will display uh <coughs> on our home page so let me let return return render template then index index dot html so we need a uh, frasky ginger uh, to render our index dot html after executing function named as home so that's it uh here we need to 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 write some few things you know here uh, we need to just if name something like this years main hope 
uh, app app dot run app dot run and then debug is equal to true we need it to allow debugging you know so hope everything is clear right now so if you don't see clear let me copy this and uh, let me let me let me let me create new file here i'm gonna paste them and I save as py so let me let me save them let, let me save at desktop yes let me save at desktop first let me do something here this uh, desktop Oh, yeah, there is cells. Let, let me remove this file, right? And let me save this as app.py, right? So, so let, let me increase it so much you can see. That's why I told you that I like much uh, using Sublime, you know. Sometimes the Sublime is pretty good for or such issues like editing you know hope here you can clearly see here we imported the necessary libraries right then here we define the name of an app which is a frasky here we loaded our model ready binal from our file then after this is function to be displayed on home page it will render uh, index.html so the next thing uh, is to learn that python file and uh, so that we can see how we, we start how we start frasky server learning on browser so right click then learn right let's run oops what's wrong uh model.pico road here there is an error what's what's happening you know let me see oh model is here no model.pkl what's wrong Okay, let's see. Oh. Model is equal to Pinko dot open. So what is missing here? Oops single bracket is missing hope here is clear what's wrong the name references okay let's run this up and see what's happening invalid syntax here it should be it should be something like this let me remove this here hope something like this so so let me save the changes and learn again to see what's happening as you can see the server is starting So server is is learning at localhost. So let me click this link. Oops. Yeah, you can see this is is uh, how our interface is looking like. You know, here we can't predict it. So this is just frasky uh, 
Frasky app learning on browser. So let's this is, is our first part, you know, of this video. We had to create a project folder, display home page on a browser, and the last part of this project is to link our app with static files. So let, let me let me open let me let me open uh, index.html sales forecasting. So let me close this. Let me close. Let me close. Cross, cross everything, right? So, in a local disk D, PyCharm, mm, Frasky, then it sells prediction, uh, template. So, let me edit it using Sublime. As I told you, I like much Sublime for the case of editing. So, what we need is to link this static file. Uh, yes, yes, just linking this static file, you know. So let me link this static file. How do we link static files uh, in any frasky? So here, let me put a bracket. Chua, chua. Yes, URL for URL underscore for. Then bracket. Yeah, bracket static static yes file name file name is equal to file name is equal to CS something like this then chua chua I hope if I control control S we have we have made uh, the changes so so le let me let me let me refresh our browser to see the changes uh, let me refresh to see the changes oops error expected in which line ginger expecting okay hope there is an error here let's see what's what's wrong here there is there is a bracket here i hope something like this so control s let's refresh our browser wow it's looking awesome so <laughs> this is your frask and finally we have made it a link of static files in a, in a frasky so thanks for watching to put a short summary of what we have covered uh, we created a project folder uh, in our PyCharm main project folder uh, we created static files for storing static files like CSS images and JavaScript we created the templates file for storing dot index dot html file which are rendered by ginger 2 engine then we created the app for running or for insurizing a server a frasky server and finally we made a link of our home page with the static files uh, thanks for watching i can say this is the end of our tutorial number nine in sales prediction using machine learning so so far we have covered these these two parts number 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 nine and number eight so in next video we are going to receive a user input and make a prediction then after we'll have testing our frask app or our frask model and making conclusion so we are about two video to go don't miss our next video stuck with me do not forget to like put comment and subscribe for next video update goodbye